Hello everyone, in this video let's talk about features of C++. So first feature is it is a simple and easy to understandable programming language. Simple and easy to understand that is the first feature. Simple and easy. Okay. So, C++ is a simple programming language. So, simple means it contains a general English like commands which is user friendly for the uh, user okay, to understand, to use, to debug, to modify and to test. Okay. The code is very simple and easy to understand. That is the first feature of C++. Okay. Second one is it is a general purpose programming language. So, you already know what is meant by general purpose. General purpose means we can develop so many applications by using C++. That is called as a general purpose. Okay. Next one is it is a middle level programming language. So, C++ contains both the features of high plus plus uh, sorry high, high level language or also low level language. Right, it contains both the features of high level language as well as low level language. That is why this is called as a middle level programming language. Okay, and next one is C is a object oriented programming language. So, object oriented programming language means here this uh, uh, that means uh, this C contains many uh, powerful concepts like objects, classes encapsulation, inheritance, polymorphism, binding, data binding. So, all these concepts we will learn in C++. So, it is called as object oriented programming language. So, whatever may be the programming language which depends upon objects that is called as object oriented programming language. So, here we will learn the most important for, uh, concepts that is OOPS concepts like objects, classes, encapsulation, inheritance, polymorphism and binding, data binding. Okay, all these concepts we will learn in C++. Okay, next one is it is a portable language. So, what is meant by portable? Portable means movable. That means C++ which was written in one, one system can run on another system that is called as a portability. Okay, the C++ program which was a written on one system, we can develop the same, we can run the same C++ program from another system also that is called as a portability. Okay. It is easily movable. Okay. The code is easily movable that is called as a portable language. C++ is a portable language. Okay. So, next feature is it is a platform independent. That means C++ program can be uh, run on different platforms. We can develop the same C++ program in Windows operating system, in Linux operating system, in Mac operating system. That means this C++ it is a platform independent. It is not depend upon the platform. It is an independent to platform. Okay. That means you can develop the C++ program in any operating system as you want because C++ is a platform independent language. Okay. So, next one is C++ is a compiler based programming language. So, we have programming languages okay, based on compilers, based on interpreters. Okay. So, C++ comes under compiler based programming language. That means, here the language translator is compiler. Okay. So, the compiler based programming languages are speed with respect to performance. Okay, that means they are very fast, the execution speed will be more compared to interpreted programming languages. Okay, Python is an interpreted programming language. The main disadvantage in Python is the performance is not up to the mark. Okay, but C, C++, all these are compiler based programming languages. So, this, these languages are fast with respect to performance. Okay, next one is C++. C++ is a powerful programming language. 
So, why we are calling it as a powerful pro programming language means it contains powerful concepts like data types, operators, control structures, all these concepts. So, that is why we will call it as a powerful language. Okay. And next, next one is C++. C++ is a, uh, that means C++ contains a rich set of libraries. Okay. So, in libraries, we will have some uh, predefined functions and classes. Okay. C++ library contains predefined functions and classes which are defined within the libraries. So, it is very advantage feature for the programmer. Okay. Because these uh, within the libraries, we have predefined functions and classes. So, the programmer can directly use those functions by just uh, including the header files. Okay. So, C, C++ has a rich set of libraries or library functions. Okay. C++ has a rich set of library functions. So, it is the advantage feature for the developer. Okay. So, the developer if he wants to work with the functions, he can directly include the header files and he can make use of those functions in the program. Okay. So, this is very advantage feature for the uh, developers that means programmers. Okay. And next last one is okay, DMA that is dynamic memory allocation is available in C++. Okay. The memory allocation is allocated that means the memory is allocated dynamically that means during runtime the memory will allocation will be done. Okay. So, that is why we will use here some concepts like uh, constructors and destructors. Constructors and destructors are used in C++ because, because of this dynamic memory allocation. Okay. That means memory allocation at runtime, during runtime if the memory is allocated that is called as a dynamic memory allocation. So, here we will use concepts like constructors and destructors. These two concepts are used in C++. Okay, because, because of this dynamic memory allocation. Okay. So, constructor is used to allocate the memory dynamically and destructor is used to destroy the memory. Okay. So, constructs, by using constructors we will create objects and by using destructors we will destroy the objects. So, which will be done dynamically. That means, during runtime we can do that. So, this is separate topic. These two are separate topics. We will learn in detail at that time. Okay. So, uh, in C++ the dynamic memory allocation is available. Okay. We will use constructors and destructors in C++ to perform this. Dynamic memory allocation, we will use constructors and destructors okay, in C++. So, these are the main features of C++. Okay, once again, I am going to repeat the main features are simple and easy. Okay, C++ is simple and easy to understand a program, uh, easy to understandable programming language. Okay, so simple means it contains uh, simple English like commands. The code is just like simple English like command, which is easy for the user to understand and to develop. Okay, and next one is it is a general purpose programming language, as I already told that. Okay. And next one, it is a middle level programming language. That means the C++ contains both high level language features as well as low level language features. Okay. So, by using high level language, we will use the high level language to, to develop application software. And low level languages are used to develop system software. So, C++ can develop both application software as well as a system software as it is a middle level programming language. Okay. So, the middle level programming languages contains both the features of high level as well as low level. Okay. So, that is why C++ we will call it as a middle level programming language. Okay. Next one is object oriented programming language. So, here object oriented OOPS concepts are used. So, what are the OOPS concepts? Objects, classes, encapsulation, inheritance, polymorphism and dynamic bending. All these concepts are used in object oriented programming language. So, we will learn all these concepts in detail in later videos. Okay. Next one is it is portable language. So, portability means movable. Okay. C++ program which is written on one system can run on another system. The same code we can execute on some other system that is called as that nature is called as portability. 
okay next one is a uh, platform independent that means uh, we can develop uh, we can uh, develop and we can run the C++ program in any operating system okay that is called as that nature is called as a platform independent okay that is machine independent operating system independent platform independent means we can run the C++ program in Windows operating system the same code we can run in Linux operating system also okay that nature is called as a platform independent okay so here platform means operating system okay next one is uh, it is a compiler based programming language so in c++ uh, the language translator we are using is compiler so as it is a compiler based programming language what is the advantage it, the performance with respect to performance uh, the c++ program is very fast with respect to speed okay it is very fast and next one is it is a powerful programming language due to its rich set of operators okay data types and control structures okay and next one is uh, it has a rich set of library functions so within the C++ library we have some predefined classes and functions okay so this uh, because of this uh, library function uh, it is the advantage for the developer for the programmer to develop programs uh, if he wants to use those library functions uh, he can just include the header file and he can make use of those functions okay as a C++ has a rich set of library function it is one of the advantage feature for the developer okay and next one is uh, the memory allocation is uh, dynamic here okay it has a dynamic memory allocation so dynamic memory allocation means the memory is allocated during runtime that is called as a dynamic memory allocation okay so here we will use con some concepts like constructors and destructors in c++ okay so to perform this dynamic memory allocation here we have some concepts like uh, constructors and destructors we will use these two to these two concepts uh, uh, for dynamic memory allocation okay so these are the various features of c++ okay Thank you.